In this video, we shall cover the following aspects of reciting the Bajrang Ban. 1. When should the Bajrang Ban be chanted for the best results? 2. Under what situations should the Bajrang Ban be chanted? 3. Who should and who should not chant the Bajrang Ban? 4. A simple process for Bajrang Ban recitation. 5. Supporting mantras and stotrams for Bajrang Ban. Like the Hanuman Chalisa, the Bajrang Ban is another useful mantra tool with miraculous powers. People infected with too many material problems should read the Bajrang Ban every day without fail. Chanting the Bajrang Ban on Tuesdays and Saturdays is auspicious. The malefic effects of the Mars and Saturn planets are immediately nullified if one chants the Bajrang Ban on Tuesdays and Saturdays. People who have Mars in an inappropriate house in their astrological charts should without fail chant the Bajrang Ban daily. Bajrang Ban literally means the arrow called Bajrang or Hanuman. The reading of the Bajrang Ban with faith is compared to an arrow which never misses its mark. Irrespective of the type of problem, Bajrang Ban serves as a universal solution. Generally, Bajrang Ban is chanted as an auxiliary to the Hanuman Chalisa. People who chant the Bajrang Ban regularly are known to have good health and long life. Job related problems, relationship related problems, health problems and financial problems are immediately arrested. To see the effect of the Bajrang Ban, one needs to chant this twice every day for 21 days at a stretch. When a person undertakes even this minimum period of the Bajrang Ban recitation, one shall receive astounding results in one's life. People harassed by enemies or inimical relatives find immediate relief when they chant the Bajrang Ban. There is one caution that one needs to take while chanting the Bajrang Ban. If a person is not a devotee of Hanumanji Maharaj and is surrounded by problems, he can chant Bajrang Ban. This is because the Bajrang Ban is a Tantric Mantra. The mantra has verses where the reciter reminds Hanumanji Maharaj about his devotion to Sri Rama and Srimati Sita Devi. The reciter is urging Hanumanji that if he is a true devotee of Sri Ram and Sita Ji, he should help the reciter. Such a statement should only be made by a person stuck in a great mess because we are inciting the devotion and power of Hanumanji Maharaj. There is no need for anyone to remind the greatest devotee about his devotion to his Lord unless the reciter is in dire straits. One should avoid unnecessarily invoking Hanumanji Maharaj through Bajrang Ban. Instead, one can chant the Hanuman Chalisa or Hanuman Sankat Mochan Ashtak. Bajrang Ban should only be used under very severe conditions. Thus, non devotees of Hanumanji Maharaj should avoid reciting the Bajrang Ban without reason. However, a person with faith in Hanumanji Maharaj surrounded by multiple problems can request Hanumanji to solve his problems through Bajrang Ban. Once the problem is overcome, he can stop the regular chanting of the Bajrang Ban. You can watch our video from Bija Mantra Benefits How to Chant Hanuman Mantra. Dear viewers, Spirit Meaning Channel needs your help. Throughout the year, we conduct various initiatives like providing food to animals, supplying monthly groceries to old women and planting trees close to the sacred Govardhan mountain near the birthplace of Lord Krishna. Your selfless donations will help us reach out to the needy. The Bhagavad Gita describes seva or such service as an act of pure goodness in this age of Kali. So by whatever means possible, please consider donating to the number displayed on the screen below. You can do this via Google Pay, Phone Pay or Paytm. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment section below.
on the other hand if a person is a big devotee of hanuman ji maharaj he can chant the bajrang ban out of love without any ulterior motive the only motive of such a devotee of hanuman ji is to attain the love and attention of hanuman ji only in such a case can a devotee chant the hanuman ban without breaks bajrang ban is thus believed to be a powerful mantra that is undertaken to cure dangerous life problems once the life problems are neutralized one should stop chanting the bajrang ban but an ardent devotee of hanuman ji maharaj has no restrictions since such a devotee only yearns for hanuman ji's love now i shall reveal a powerful method of recitation of the bajrang ban especially for people troubled by enemies relatives or who has relationships or severe financial problems our video how to overcome financial fear how to overcome money anxiety will be interesting to watch it is ideal if you chant the bajrang ban after 9 pm chanting the bajrang ban on tuesdays and saturdays is very beneficial one should take a bath and wear red clothes they should light a lamp in a mud container filled with clarified butter the wick of the lamp should face the west direction use a sitting asana made of wool and face the west direction chanting the hanuman chalisa before reciting the bajrang ban is auspicious please watch our video benefits of chanting hanuman chalisa why read hanuman chalisa to know more chant the bajrang ban 11 or 21 times at a stretch every evening after 9 pm as you chant the bajrang ban pray to hanuman ji maharaj to relieve you from the current problems one should observe celibacy as you take up the sadhana of chanting the bajrang ban women should chant the khadagamala stotram or lalita sahasra nama and pray to devi before invoking the power of hanuman ji maharaj this is mandatory hanuman ji's power is tremendously masculine and invoking it can affect the female body if the female force is not invoked simultaneously hence it becomes vital to invoke devi shakti before one invokes hanuman ji maharaj Hanuman ji is also considered the ardent servant of Devi. She shall regulate his powers if Devi Shakti is invoked before chanting the Bajrang Ban. Generally, it is necessary to complement a masculine mantra with a feminine stotram or mantra. The Bajrang Ban should be considered a temporary yet powerful practice to overcome life-threatening problems. it works best on such problems the bajrang ban can be considered similar to the life saving drug rendered to a patient fighting for life in the intensive care unit of life situations